G'day guys, how are you going? Hope you're doing well. Today I'm gonna to be giving you a tutorial on how to use your Logitech Brio 4K webcam with an Apple Mac computer. So the one that we're using today is a 27 inch late 2017 5K iMac. And this is gonna be a start to finish guide on how to get it working so you can record. Um, if you wanna stream, you can stream. And if you wanna just do it for a FaceTime call or for photo booth, you can use it for that as well. So if you like this video, hit the like button, get subscribed. And if you've got any comments or questions, let me know down in the comment section and let's begin. Alrighty, so if you're watching this video then I'm assuming you've got the webcam already and you're just having a little bit of, I guess, trouble trying to get the webcam to do what you want it to do, which might be recording so you can maybe make your own tutorials or podcasts or maybe get it set up for streaming or even just something to replace the webcam that is on your iMac which might not be doing uh, too well. But this is not just for iMacs, this can work for your MacBook Pro. Um, it can work on anything that is Mac based. Um, Apple doesn't really include any applications for managing the camera. So I'm gonna be showing you how to go ahead and I guess get it all working. Now, a few things as well. I'm assuming that if you're watching this, you know how to install and download applications and that you've already got your webcam plugged into the USB port on the back of your um, iMac or onto the side of your MacBook Pro or even if it's a Mac Mini, you've got it already plugged in. Once you've got it actually plugged in, you've got it all connected, then you'll need to go to a website called obsproject.com. So if you have a look on the screen here with me, um, once you go to the OBS project website, you'll get obviously three options here that says Windows, Mac or Linux. We're gonna click the Mac option. We're gonna download that file. It's gonna to go to your downloads folder and then you're gonna install the application. Once you've got the application installed, then you can actually use the webcam to record or stream or whatever you wanna do. So we'll minimize the website and we'll go into um, our applications folder and you should hopefully have, let me just quickly find my apps folder here, um, OBS down in your applications and we'll open up that program and you should have a window like what I've got going on here. It does look a little bit intimidating, but if you just take your time with it, um, it is actually quite simple to use. And this is what you will need to use um, if you just wanna do some, I guess, webcam recording. Like I said, if you wanna make a podcast or making tutorials or something like that for a friend or a family member, um, or if you wanna do live streaming on like Twitch or YouTube or Facebook, um, this, can, uh, sorry, this can be an application that you can, um, I guess, stream with if you wanna do that. So once you've got OBS launched, you should have a sources window, um, I guess, or a column in the sort of left-hand side of your screen. And if we go ahead, I'm just actually gonna remove it because I've already done this once before. You're gonna have an option to click and add a source. So we'll click the plus button and then we'll click uh, where it says video capture device. And then we're gonna create a new video capture device. You can actually name this if you want to, if you've got more than one camera. So we're just gonna call it Brio 4K gonna press okay, and then we have an option here for which device we wanna use. So we'll select Logitech Brio, obviously. We're gonna untick the preset button, and we're gonna manually choose our resolution. So I find that this webcam, I guess it's really up to you what setting you choose, but I find 1920 by 1080, and then changing the FPS value to 60 um, gives you the best and the smoothest image then we should hopefully see ourselves on the screen. So there we go, we've got me on the screen. Hello, um, we're gonna go ahead and right click on the window and we're gonna go down to where it says transform and then fit to screen. Okay, so now we've got basically an image of us that's taking up the whole screen, which means when we press record or stream, the viewer on their end is gonna get a full screen image of you using that webcam. If we wanna go ahead and change the quality for our recording, um, we go to the settings on the right hand side of OBS, we go down to the output section and you can see you've got the option for recording path so you can choose where the file saves to. Um, you can choose your quality, so I've actually chosen high quality, medium file size and then you can choose your format. So I've chosen MP4, that's what Apple likes, um, that's what QuickTime supports and then the software X264, you can just leave that alone. Once we've done that, we press OK, and then we can hit Start Recording. And you can see as well that it's detecting the microphone on the webcam. So when we press Record, it's gonna capture the video, and it's also gonna capture the audio. 
If you want to go ahead and add some color correction to the camera, you can actually do that by right clicking on the source, which is your Brio 4K webcam. So if we right click and go down to where it says filters, we can actually go to the effects filters down the bottom here and we can add color correction. So then once we do that, we have the option to adjust the contrast, uh, the gamma, the brightness, the saturation, hue shift and opacity. So you can do a whole bunch of things um, and then if you know you want to go back to your defaults, so you can press default and it'll revert it all back to, I guess, what it thinks is um, the right setting for the camera. So that's if you want to go ahead and, like I said, uh, use it for recording or for streaming. Um, use OBS. It will definitely make your life a lot easier. Now, if you want to go ahead and use it just for a FaceTime call, um, or like let's say you want to do photo booth, it's actually really, really simple. Just open up your photo booth, and instead of where it says um, camera at the top here, and it's by default picking your FaceTime camera, you just want to click Logitech Brio instead, and it will switch itself over um, to the Logitech Brio webcam. I guess the only problem that you might find using Photo Booth or FaceTime is you won't have any fine control over the color, the resolution, or anything else. So it's really just only going to give you the one setting. Compared to a PC, you have all the options available to you, but with a Mac, it only unfortunately makes it available in run resolution with one uh, frame rate, which I think if you're going to be using this camera, you're probably going to be doing something a little bit more complex than just a FaceTime call anyway. So that's why I highly recommend using OBS for doing your um, recordings if you're going to upload it to YouTube or Facebook. So that's the tutorial. Hopefully that made sense. If you have any questions or if I skip something or miss something or you want some clarification, let me know in the comment section. Um, get subscribed to see more videos like this and I will see you in the next one. Cheers.